This came from the Goodwill bins. I saw this and I knew that it would sell. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about my bread and butter bolos. Those are items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what I sold it for. What you are going to notice is that I source really cheap. I pick things up at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores, the Goodwill bins. I am a cheapie, <laughs> cheapie. Um, I like to buy low and sell high. So uh, I will pick up things and I will sell them for $10 or less because I don't have much in them. But uh, most of these items sold for $35 or less. And let's get started. So the first item here I sold is this puppet. And most of you probably would have walked right by it, but I'm like, somebody needs this puppet. Somebody's looking for it. It's so old and cute. It's a vintage dog puppet. It's unbranded. It's brown. I got it at a garage sale and I actually paid $1.50 for it, which is kind of high for me. And I sold it for $12.99 plus shipping. These came out of a uh, mystery toy box from a YouTube channel, Auctions for You. And I have the full unboxing on my channel if you want to check it out. I had never heard of these. They are called Fix It. And they're little uh, transformers teeny tiny like titans robots just uh robots in disguise toys i don't know but they sold for nine dollars and 75 cents plus shipping if you're looking um to buy uh, online definitely check out auctions for you and donatella bottolino i will link them down in the description i have been buying from them for about three years the window august switch cover plates oh my goodness the switch cover plates and the outlet plates i had bronze and i had aluminum. And I will tell you, these have been selling like hotcakes. I did a video on them. I found them at a garage sale. Cost of goods was about a dollar a piece by the time I took my total that I paid for them and divided it out. So um, super great find. And I'm selling them individually and they are doing really, really well. Uh, the same person bought four of these and they were all in for $98 plus shipping. So they got this one, this one, this one, and this one for $98. So they were all in for $115.30 and my cost of goods was $4 from a garage sale. I pulled these out of the Goodwill bins and they are Beauty and the Beast birthday invitations. They are vintage and I have to save the vintage. They're new old stock, which means um, NOS is another good thing you can put in the title. I didn't do that. I ran out of space, but new old stock is NOS and people do look for that. These sold for $9 and 75 cents plus shipping. The next item came from my, I went to a new Goodwill bins. It's the first time I'd ever been there and I really wasn't feeling it. You know how you have days where you go and you're just kind of like, eh, I don't really feel like doing this today. I don't know. It kind of felt like it. And I left a lot of stuff behind and I have a video and I think it says I should have grabbed them all or something like that in the title, but I found a big money bolo and I ended up doing pretty well, but I listed this item and it was just a bread and butter and I knew it, but it sold like within a day for $6 and 50 cents plus shipping. It flew out of my store, but I did price it competitively, but I don't know. I was really shocked by how quickly this sold. This guy right here is a vintage Santa Claus ready to paint. Um, I talked about this in another video. These sell better after Christmas. All of a sudden these started selling after Christmas and I started thinking about it and I'm like, it's probably because people buy them after Christmas to start painting them for next Christmas. Anyway, got this out of a thrift store mystery box. Took a best offer of $15 plus shipping. This is the Pizza Hat, and I talked about this in one of my reseller vlogs. I was doing an unboxing, and this came from the free plush from a viewer. She messaged me on uh, Facebook and said, hey, I need these items out of my house tomorrow, all of this plush. Will you come get it? And I'm like, 
okay. So I figured it out and I went and picked it up and I got a ton of amazing plush. If you're watching, thank you so much. Um, this was one of the items. I sold this pizza hat for 15, oh no, wait, I'm sorry, $9.75 plus shipping. And my cost of goods was free. This is a Disney Frozen Olaf. It's a flashlight doll. And I actually have a video down below that shows how it works. And this video actually has gotten quite a few views. People really want to know how it works. But um, it took a long time to sell. But I did sell it. Uh, this came off of Facebook Marketplace. I bought a bundle from uh, some mom that was cleaning out her basement and just wanted to get rid of stuff and was selling it all for one price. So I got a really good deal on it. $29.25. And I did do local pickup on that because somebody needed it for a birthday party that weekend. So I did go ahead and do that. This came from the Goodwill bins. I saw this and I knew that it would sell. Um, these are fashion plates. So you run like a crayon over it and you can make like different designs. The packaging is in horrible shape, but um, I just felt like it was going to sell. And it sold really fast for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. And again, that came from the Goodwill bins. This also came from the Goodwill bins. And a lot of you guys say, Boyd's Bears, no, I'm not picking them up. I'm the opposite. If I can get a Boyd's Bear for a dollar or less, they will sell. Now, do they sell for big money? No. But if you can find the Boyd's Bear minis with the little sweaters, some of those go for over $100. So definitely be on the lookout for those. This one, I figured I could get 10 to 15 bucks for it. So I ended up selling it for $13 plus shipping and I got it at the Goodwill bins. The person also bought this one from me for $9.75. So this buyer, I think, likes cheetah stuff. The little brownie brand, um, I think it's from like Girl Scouts or something. Uh, I don't, the comps weren't great. It's like the sell-through rate, the comps. This was another one from the free plush that I got, but I listed it. And I ended up selling it for $9.75 plus shipping, and it actually sold pretty quickly. But the reason it sold is because of the cheetah. Somebody wanted a cheetah, not because it was the little brownie brand. So definitely uh, look, look up that brand. These came from a viewer. This was a viewer sale, and she uh, sent me a message with the offer saying that she was looking for these... Um, these items. And she did not know she needed shoehorns, but she didn't know Tupperware made them. And she saw them in my video. And these came out of my mystery box from T auctions for you. It was in my table and um, a viewer bought them. So thank you. If you're watching, I appreciate your purchase. And she bought these for $15 and 50 cents plus shipping. The next item are these two Creative Memories tape runners. One is a refill and Creative Memories. I just, it's a bolo, you guys. If you see it, pick it up. It sells really good. This came from a garage sale. Cost of goods for all of these was probably about a dollar. And I sold these for $21.70 plus shipping. Lego Friends. I got this at a garage sale. I want to say that I paid $4 for it probably overpaid for this one, but it was new old stock. And I was like, eh, it didn't comp out as high as I had hoped, but I sold it for $15 and 50 cents plus shipping. So still made a profit. I always pick up Legos, especially if they're in the original box. I probably could have held on to it and the value probably would have went up, but I always choose to move things quickly. I don't really hang on to stuff and for reasons of increasing in value. <laughs> I do hang on to stuff in my money pile because I just can't get to it. But anyway, this is a vintage Torino peacock jewelry stand and you put earrings in it. And I sold this for a best offer of $25 plus shipping. And I believe this came from a garage sale for a buck. This guy right here, you would think, what on earth, right? Look at the top of his head. It's like missing part of his head. And I actually sold one of these. And then I saw another one at the Goodwill Benz and I'm like, hey, I sold it once. I can sell it again. I can hit sell similar. It sold super fast again. It's a Treasure X monster and um, got it out of the Goodwill bins and it sold for $9.30 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $15.58 for this little guy. Is that crazy or what? This is a true silver garland decor. Um, it's by Noel and it's 
two feet wide by 16 feet long. And it is new old stock. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box, almost didn't list it because it was so long, decided to just fold it in half and disclose that. And I sold this for a best offer of $14 plus shipping. And that was a thrift store Christmas box. This also came out of my Teebel box from Auctions for You. And again, she'll be linked down below if you guys are looking to source online. And I sold this little fireplace for $13 plus shipping. I did put dollhouse in the title because I think this would be a great size for a dollhouse. This was also from the free plush. It's a wish pets plush Teddy Angel Wings Brianna stuffed animal. And I sold this for $16.25 plus shipping. This mouse right here is a Longitech marble trackball mouse. And when I saw this, I was like, woohoo, I thought I had a big money bolo. I thought I was going to sell it for like a hundred bucks. And for some reason, this model does not sell for as much. Some of these go for big money. Um, at least a long time ago, I remember doing a video on it. So maybe the market's down on them or it's the model that I had. So I was kind of bummed out, but I paid a buck for it. Sold it for $30 plus shipping. This is a mermaid tail flip sequin, unbranded. Um, I knew it would sell just because it was a mermaid tail and it was flip sequins and it sold really quickly. Uh, this was also from the free plush and I sold this for $16.25 plus shipping. These are the Hallmark mini kiss kiss puppies. They are magnetic and they kiss and they come apart and they're super cute. This also came from the free plush. Got, I sold it for $13 plus shipping. This is a Sarah Coventry silver seagull brooch. It is just silver tone. It's not actually 925. And my husband got this from an estate jewelry buyout. Um, so he probably has like a dollar or less in it. It sold for $9.75 plus shipping. These are erasers. They're by um, Awako, I-W-A-K-O, made in Japan. I don't know. I think these came, let me see. Yeah, out of a thrift store toy box. And I was like, I'm going to try it. And I sold these for a best offer of $9 plus shipping. This one right here is a 1981 Tila action figure from uh, Masters of the Universe He-Man. And M-O-T-U, I was like, what on earth is that? What is Motu or Moto? I was trying to figure it out in a video and I finally figured it out. It's Masters of the Universe. So those are great... Um, it's a great way to uh, put it in your title if you have to use less words, okay? This came from the Goodwill Bins. I sold her for $10, best offer plus shipping. This is a vintage Kirk Pewter stick pin. And I got this out of a bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. It was over 300 pounds of jewelry. I still have so much of it left, but I have videos. If you go way back to the beginning of my channel, I have when I picked it up because we met and I actually had her record a video of me unloading her car and she is the sweetest person. Um, I actually need to text her and just say hello because I haven't talked to her forever. If you're watching, you're the best. Um, still selling these items and still have a ton to list. I think I might bring some of them to whatnot. If you guys aren't following me over on whatnot, definitely, um, Check me out there. I've been selling on there since December. So it's a newer platform for me. Um, if you use my link to join whatnot, you can get $15 to shop. It is live. So you get to hang out and, you know, talk in the chat and buy. It's super fun. So would love to see you guys over on my whatnot. Again, that link's in the description. All right. I sold this little Imaginex Robin action figure. It's by Fisher Price. And I got this from the Goodwill bins and he sold for $9.75 plus shipping. Probably had 25 cents or less in him. A lot of you guys are not going to mess with these little action figures, but you know what? I enjoy toys and I tell you all the time, you can buy them cheap. They're easy to list and they are easy to ship. And I white out my background with photo room. I just like the crisp white background. And um, I do have a referral link down below. You can get 10% off of Photo Room if you use that link, if you're interested in making your pictures have a white background. You can also put like a purple background or a blue background. There's so many things you can do with Photo Room. It is really awesome. Um, and that's for the 10% off your annual subscription. And it's either, I think it's 
for the year. Totally worth it. This little spoon came from the Goodwill bins. I probably have 10 cents in it. This one was just ridiculous. I can't even believe I listed it, but I can't even believe I bought it really. But I got it at the bin, so it was probably 10 cents, and I listed it competitively, and you guys, it sold so fast. I only sold it for $3.90 plus shipping, but the buyer was all in for $10.01 for this. I may have sold it too cheap. So um, it's made in Japan. It's mid-century modern. It's a cool little spoon. This right here is a friends-to-be plush stuffed doll, and I think I messed up on this one because um, I think it was worth about 30 bucks and I sold it for 20 and I'm going to tell you why because the person messaged me and they're like is the belly button missing and I'm like oh it kind of looks like it and I never went and checked the item I just looked at the picture you guys this is the back this is where they sewed it up at Build-A-Bear I have never heard of friends to be made they apparently have Build-A-Bear dolls but when I got her out, I was like, I'm just going to see if she has a belly button. And I looked and her belly button was just fine. And um, I had told the person that I thought the belly button was missing. <laughs> so they offered me 20 bucks. I think this one was going to Canada and I took a $20 offer, but that's okay. They had to pay their customs fees and stuff like that. So um, if you see one of these, definitely pick it up. Usually in the $30 range uh, is what you're going to get for it. So uh, definitely a nice little bolo that I undersold. The next item is this creepy vintage plastic sleepy eye craft doll. I went ahead and went with this as my main photo just to draw attention to the item because it it's kind of a weird item. I don't even know why I picked it up. But um, yeah, that's her eyes open and eyes shut. Uh, she's made in Hong Kong. That's really all I had to go with. Um, and she had this little outfit on and I got her at a garage sale for a quarter and I sold her for $7 and 44 cents. And the buyer was all in for $13 and 89 cents. And I have info on one more, but I don't have a pop-up. So I must not have done the last bolo. So you only got 30. Sorry about that. Hopefully I'll have it in my next, uh, video. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know which bolo was your favorite. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe here and another video here. Check out one of those videos. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. Thanks so much. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.